When you have to prove trigonometry identities, usually the best strategy is to start with the more complicated side, for example, the left-hand side, and try to produce the expression on the other side. Here is the right-hand side. If you have the expression such as secant theta, cosecant theta, tangent theta, and cotangent theta, you can always change this expression in terms of sine theta and cos theta only. If you have the expression such as sine square theta, cos square theta, secant square theta, cosecant square theta, tangent square theta, and cotangent square theta, always remember you have three basic trigonometric identity which link this expression together. And these formulas are given in SPM formula list. Next, the double angle formula allows you to prove more trigonometric identity involving sine 2 theta, cos 2 theta, tangent 2 theta, secant 2 theta, cosecant 2 theta, and cotangent 2 theta. The double angle formula are also given in SPM formula list. Now we'll start with some simple trigonometric ratio. The first one we have secant theta equal to 1 over cos theta. And we have cosecant theta equal to 1 over sine theta. And cotangent theta equal to 1 over tangent theta. And also we have tangent theta equal to sine theta over cos theta. Therefore, cotangent theta also can be written as cos theta over sine theta. As you can see here, we can always write secant theta, cosecant theta, tangent theta, and cotangent theta in terms of sine theta and cos theta only. This is very useful to prove some trigonometry identity. Please take note that this simple trigonometric ratio are not given in SPM formula list. Next, I'm going to show you three basic trigonometric identity. These three basic trigonometric identity are very famous in SPM question. So make sure you are familiar with this identity. The first one we have is sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. This identity link your sine square and cos square together. Therefore, you can always change your sine square to cos square. Sine square equal to 1 minus cos square theta. And you can change your cos square theta to 1 minus sine square theta. The second basic identity is 1 plus tangent square theta equal to secant square theta. Again, you can see that this identity link your tangent square and secant square together. So you can always change your secant square theta to 1 plus tangent square theta. And you can change your tangent square theta become secant square theta minus 1. The last basic trigonometric identity is 1 plus cotangent square theta equal to cosecant square theta. As you can see here, this identity links your cotangent square theta and your cosecant square theta together. So you have cosecant square theta equal to 1 plus cotangent square theta. And you also can change your cotangent square theta to cosecant square theta minus 1. These three basic trigonometry identity are given in SPM formula list. However, you are advised to memorize this formula so that you can master this chapter that is trigonometric function.